right, so I'm just gonna set this aside. And be over here. Okay, so take your comfortable seat, friends, and let's start actually, I feel like maybe just a little foot activation. If you can just reach even one foot at a time and just activate your soles of your feet for a moment. <clears throat> Good, okay. And then you can massage whatever else needs to be massaged and then make your way into your yoga sit whenever you're ready. We'll take a few moments to just close your eyes and center yourself with your breath, your own divine presence. You as observer, you as practitioner, you as receiver. And acknowledge that you've done the most important part, which is to simply show up. So let that permeate through. I am here. <clears throat> I am here for myself, for me. And loving support. Say he's saying hello. Take one big breath in. Release that breath through your mouth. Let's do one more like that. Big breath in. Release. And we'll call ourselves home. So we'll chant Om together three times. You want to just grab them and put them in your lap. We'll chant Om three times. And after we finish the third Om, we're just going to sit in silence. Just tune into the resonance. Uh, inhale. Just end with a nice big breath in and a big sigh out and releasing your hands, lifting your chin and opening your eyes. Okay, so we are going to start on your backs, but if you'd like to take a downward dog for a moment, and I'm going to do that, so, um, but, but I'll just show you quickly how we're going to set up. If you're just coming to lie on your back, we're going to do what we've been doing. A little bit away from the wall so the feet the legs are at an angle whatever's comfortable for you and then the bolster will go underneath your head and you'll have your strap nearby okay so welcome to set up for that right away or we'll just take a down <laughs> a downward dog <laughs> two dogs just came this up maybe they thought that's what i said <laughs> so just take a, a little bit of this moving if that works for you whatever you need good and if you're in downward dog, you can rock a little bit. If you're on your back already, maybe you hug your knees into your chest and rock a little bit there. And, and I'm just going to flow this forward and back a few times, just moving into plank and back. And we could even do this with the knees bent. That can be really nice just to kind of move your joints a little bit. So maybe I'll talk this through it. I'll lift the heels and bend the knees and then push off from the feet to move into plank. And then I'll go back to bent knees, straighten the legs. So I'll just do that a few more times. And whatever works for you is all glorious and good. good. Okay, and then after that, if you would like to take child's pose for a few moments, that's fine too. And if you're already on your back, you know, you could. 
move a little bit. Child's pose on your back is hugging the knees in. So whatever works. I just tuck my toes in here, dropping it down. And just take maybe five breaths, whatever shape you're in. Okay. Um, then we'll just all move <clears throat> and meet on your back. So the one thing I didn't say too is that as you're moving into this, if you would like to put a blanket underneath your hips, if you need that, you know, you'll know. Once you get down, you're like, oh, I just need more padding, less padding. Okay. So we'll start with the legs like this, entire back, hips, everything resting on the floor. Good. And you can let your legs flop here if you like. We'll just take a few breaths, just settling in. Okay. And if your eyes are closed, that's that's fine. We're just going to start by, you know, moving the feet around a little bit. So maybe you point and flex. If you want to add your wrists, you know, you can just move the wrists in the same way you're moving your feet. Good. Okay. And then we're going to bring the baby toe edge of your foot to the wall. So they kind of turn out, soles of the feet are facing each other. And flex your toes, press into the wall with the outer edge of your feet. And just feel, you know, what happens. We'll take one more breath, just anchoring the, the edges of the feet into the wall. And then bring the soles of the feet to the wall so that you know, you might move yourself a little bit to see where that needs to be. And if you can get the toes to the wall, groovy. If not, that's fine. You know, we all need something to kind of work towards. So, or to baby, maybe you need to not do that. So just anchor here with these nice, uh, I'm going to say pointed feet. And then one more breath. And then we'll bring the feet into flexion. So the heels are at the wall and the feet are coming, the toes are coming towards you. And see if you can melt your back and your body. So I'm not pushing, just dropping. And just take one more breath with this, these flexed feet. Good. And now we're just going to bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet to the wall. So like the knees are bent, you're sitting in your chair for a moment. Bring your arms down by your sides and feel the feet on the wall as if like, you know, you need to anchor them in to lift the hips a little bit. So find that place where you feel the feet connecting, the arms are down and just start to push into the wall to your hips lift. They don't need to come super high. It could just be a, a little tiny bit like mine. <laughs> Not, not lifted that high. And then press the feet in, drop your shoulders, notice the part of your back resting on the floor. And just feel like just the tailbone can lift as if your tailbone wants to reach up to the sky. And let this be like the cat portion of your cat cow. And we'll take one more breath. And then keep your feet where they are as you slowly lower yourself down from the top all the way down to the bottom. Good. And then just pause here and just like rest. If you want to straighten your legs, you can. And take one big breath in, side out, and then feel your feet into the wall. And we're going to arch the back and it might not arch that much. Just you know, bring yourself into whatever you can do for cat, uh, cow pose, sorry. So the hips are pressing or the tailbone is anchoring down, the low back might lift up, your chin might come in a little closer to your chest. And just pause here. Notice, you know, the feet don't need to do a lot of pressure into the wall. Take one more breath. And then exhale and slowly release that. And again, you know, maybe straighten your legs. Okay, let's take this strap and let's do this, friends. Like I have this strap that actually has a loop in it. 
Um, so how lucky am I? I don't need to make a loop, but if you don't have this, then make a loop and it doesn't need to be very big. And you'll just place that over your foot. Um, let's say the right foot, wherever it goes, it's just gonna be there. So you have that loop, yeah. However you're holding it, you might have, like for me, I have one strap here. <laughs> so I'll just maybe take both hands to the strap you know, or you're holding two ends of the strap. And we're just gonna draw this right foot into its flexion. You're just gonna pull the foot, you know, use your arms, let the shoulder still be relaxed. The left leg can just do whatever it wants. If you wanna bend it, that's fine. Oh, I'm just working the flexion of the foot. So we're opening up the underside of the leg a little bit. Take one more breath. Good. Okay, now the left leg is going to anchor in some way. So you either bend it or place it on the floor. That's all fine. And I'm gonna keep my foot at the wall. We're just gonna take this right straight right leg away from the wall as if your hands are almost like pulling it. And bring this right leg as if it's aiming towards your right shoulder <coughs> without lifting your back up off the floor. So you're just looking for that place where you feel the stretch happening. Okay. I can sneak my hand into this loop here. And if you can, you can do that too. Notice if your foot is sickling so that um, the baby toe edge of the foot is lifting higher than the inner edge and try and level your foot off. And take one more breath. Good. And then we're just going to switch hands. So the left hand will hold your strap somewhere. The right hand is going to come into the hip crease and just press. Uh, so I take the thumb into the hip crease. You could have the whole hand at the thigh and just press this thigh away as you bring this right leg a little bit over to the left. The left foot, you know, you can take the left leg over to the right if you like. I've just straightened it and cross. So my legs are pretty crossed. You could do it bent. Um, Okay, again, I'm gonna work that baby toe edge of the foot. So to bring it down, and that's when things get a little interesting. One more breath. Soften, soften, soften. And then we'll bring the legs back. I'm gonna slip the strap off the foot and bring the feet, and we're just gonna rest for three breaths. Feet to the wall, feet to the floor, legs extended, however you like. You can let your, if your legs are straight, they can just turn and flop. Okay. So in my body, always I feel like the other side is like, hey, when's my turn? Gets all excited because the other side you just did feels so good. So let's do that. Take your strap and find your left foot and then bring the left foot to the wall. And the right leg can relax. And we'll just, you can use both hands or one hand and just pull the sole of the foot down as if you, know, you really want to find that flexion of the foot. Heel stays at the wall. And then you smile, breathe. Good. I'm just adding you know, a little bit more flexion. I know I can. Okay. And now the right foot is going to find its place to be. So you can start to take the left leg away from the wall. Keep it straight. Bring your hands wherever they need to be on the strap. Without lifting any part of your back, be here. Keep that foot flex, smile. Notice if the baby toe edge of the foot wants to lift higher. And it's work, it's work. What's being offered to you right now at this moment? It's a place to be. That's all it is. Good. Okay, so I'm going to take the right hand into the strap, and the left hand is going to find that hip crease. I'm going to anchor that hip towards the wall and bring this left leg across. And you don't need to go that far. You know, you're going to find a place and be like, oh, that's it. Okay, I'm going to straighten the right leg and cross 
the leg. So the right leg's gonna walk to the left and left leg's coming over to the right. Now flex the foot and bring that baby toe edge of the foot down. It's a lot. There you go. Okay, what's being offered to me right now? And the answer is simply this. And melt yourself. Stay in this shape, but melt whatever you can. Good. And then we'll bring it all the way back. Take the strap off, both feet to the wall. Rest, however you want to do that. Good. Okay. All right, bring your feet, soles of the feet to the wall. We're gonna lift the hips again. I'm gonna take this bolster out from behind my head. Um, but you know, if you, if you need support under your head, a little light blanket or anything, do that. Okay, take your arms down by your sides and find the edges of your sticky mat. And you're just gonna take your fingers underneath the sticky mat, thumbs on top. And then I'm just gonna bring my, so I'm gonna let the hands slide up the sticky mat, straight arms, lift your shoulders. So like you're like, huh, what's gonna happen? Now I hug the, I really grip the sticky mat with the hands and draw the sticky mat away from my, like I'm pressing it towards the wall. The shoulders come back down a little bit. Anchor your upper arms. I'm just gonna lift my head and then place it back down. So lift the head, tuck the chin, place it back down. Okay, draw your belly to the floor, press your feet to the wall, so you're anchoring into the wall, into the mat, into the floor, and then inhale. And as you exhale, press the feet, lift the hips. And now I know I can go higher. So I'll just keep going. I'll walk the feet up the wall a little bit. Maybe the hands slide up and I keep pressing the mat away. Just be wherever you need to be here. If holding the mat is a more of a hindrance than a help, take your hands off of that. Take one more breath. And slowly begin to lower yourself down wherever you go. Okay, I'm just gonna hug both knees into the chest here. Rock and roll a little bit. Good, okay. We're gonna place the feet on the floor. And so if you need to wiggle away from the wall, do that. And you don't need to be that far away from the wall. I'm just moving my bolster out of the way. So it's just going straight over my head. I know exactly where it is. Take your strap loop and let's place it over the sole of the right foot again. However you have it. And the left foot is gonna stay bent on the floor. Good, okay. So once we have the foot up, you can have two straps if, or one, I have one. <laughs> and just hold the strap, flex your foot, start to open up the back of your knee, the back of the legs. I'm pressing this whole right leg back to the wall. Now I have my leg perpendicular. You put it wherever it needs to be to be straight. Straight-ish, good. There's no such version of straight anymore, my kids tell me. So be here. And then we're going to put the both ends or one strap into your left hand. The right arm is going to come out to the side. And then we're going to take this right leg over to the right. And you're holding it with the left arm. So the left arm is just going across. At the same time, I'm dropping my left knee towards the left keeping the foot hasn't moved other than lifting the sole of the foot up off the floor to let the knee drop. And then, you know, just smile here. Use your leg, the right leg to help, you know, the left arm isn't doing all the work. Okay, one more breath. Okay, now bring everything back. So left knee comes up, right leg comes up. And our right leg is going over to the left and the left knee is coming into center. So it's just dropping in. So you almost like cross the legs again, but the left foot is still on the floor, even if it's articulating and moving. Good. What? 
chucks were just attacking. Oh, the dogs were attacking. I thought That's this was too difficult. Okay. <laughs> No, then, all right, come this. on back to center. Then, okay, um, if you need to move your hands, do that. Now we're gonna switch hands. We'll take the right hand onto the straps. The left arm's coming out to the side. We're gonna start to drop this right leg out to the right. And this time we're gonna, maybe your elbow comes down, whatever you need to do. Now take the left knee and drop it towards the right all the way. So you actually come to lie a little bit more here. So I've got that, you know, the left leg is bent. It's coming down towards the floor. The right leg's out. And now just find your twist here. If the right leg needs to come up, if you need to grab your bolster and put it underneath, maybe you get it right to the floor and your left hip could be lifting a lot. I want to find a little bit of something in this left quad, left hip. Okay. And if the knee feels not happy, activate that left foot. You know, you can just play with your left foot, find it here. I'm going to be in this twist. So my left arm's out, the head's dropping, and I'm inviting my left knee to drop a little bit more. Okay, so find whatever this is. One more breath. We're going to come all the way onto the right side. That left arm that's out to the left is just going to come all the way up over your head. Just circle it, roll onto your right side, and you're going to lift yourself up. So you just come up. And the legs stay where they are. Okay, here's where things get fancy, and I'm just going to move myself back. So I'm still on camera. Okay, so you're, you're here. So you can, you know, right hand down, you have the right leg out, left leg bent. Okay, now the left arm might just hold the strap and you might hold your foot and i'm turning to face the floor and then i'm going to lower all the way down you might be on your right forearm you might put your head down or you might take that right arm out to the side and be in this lying down place okay so you can hold the strap wherever that is i'm just going to adjust my camera angle and you can see what works happening here so left leg is back right leg is out and find the foot or the strap and then you might lie down on your belly with both arms out. Or you might be up on your arm. You also have your bolster, right? Wherever you need to be here, it's happening. Breathe. Yeah, good. I'm watching hard with the blocks. Great. Do what you need to do. Take one more breath. Okay. And then you're going to slowly find your way out. So you bring yourself back up. Good, and now we're gonna come all the way up to sitting. So if this leg needs to come forward, I'm gonna keep mine back, but if you need to bring it forward, that's fine. I'm gonna keep it back and I'm just gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. You know, it's not right in, like it's not Varasana, it's open. What do they call it? Runner's lunge. Whatever works, you know, you find your place and if it's no good, bring the knee in. Oh, great, okay. All right, let's start by just take your, if you, if you can, if you can lean back a little bit, we'll just breathe here. Good. One more breath. Good. Okay, and then we'll bring ourselves back up to sitting. We still have this strap over the foot, the heart gets a dog break. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take the strap into the left hand. The right hand is coming behind, so let me just move my ankle. So I just have the right hand behind. Take a moment, if you need to sit on something, put it there. And I'm just gonna pull this foot like we did, you know, pulling the flexion and lift yourself tall. So you make this strap whatever you need. Okay, take one more breath. I bet you can guess what's gonna happen next. We're gonna to start to fold down over this leg. So you can release the strap completely. Hands can come down, just bow. Or you hold the strap and you walk yourself forward. Now I'm gonna release the strap because I know I can hold the foot. And just be wherever you need to be. You don't need to reach for anything, you know, the strap, the floor, everything's there. Okay, so just find whatever this is for you, make it work. There's a twist, what's happening? Good, 
Okay, let's take one more big breath in. Breathe out. And, and then, you know, you come back up. You might find your strap. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna just lean over to the right, release the left leg. If you wanna straighten it out for a moment, and we're gonna bring it into the Baddha Konasana shape. So I mean, you might've already been there, I don't know. So you kind of find this shape here. Good. Okay, so now I have the strap in the left hand, the right hand's coming to the floor. Just start to lift it up. And we're gonna take this arm over. Now you've got, I'm gonna use the foot. So I keep the strap, I'm, I'm pointing the foot slightly. I'm just gonna reach this up and open. So the right hand is on the floor, I'm twisting. I might look up, big side stretch. So you can be wherever you need to be. Ooh, watch out for the buckle. <laughs> you can put the strap up so high, it could be lower. Okay, guess what happens next? Is that I wanna take this deeper so I see, okay, can maybe I can take the arm down a little bit. And just play. Eventually, you know, it comes to holding the foot, but all fine. One more breath. Okay, now we release. I'm going to keep the left hand holding the strap. You can bring your arm down, whatever it is you're here. Okay, we're going to lift this right leg. So I'm going to keep holding it with my left hand. If you need to switch hands, that's okay. But I'm going to keep holding it with my left hand. Start to lift this leg up. If it needs to bend, that's okay too. Oh, now you have the strap. I can't, I can't see my head, but I'm going to take that arm up over. Yes, just be playful. Whatever happens here, I'm going to just open. I'm using the foot. The leg is not going to sleep, and I'm using the arm. Good. Okay, take this. Yeah, once you get there, left leg, I mean, this right leg is going to come in front, and I'm going to cross it over, and wherever it goes here. Then take your strap out, like just have the strap over to the side. So you're here. I'll just wait a moment. Okay. And if this doesn't happen, you know, it's here. You make it what you need. Okay. So from here now, I have the strap in the left hand. Isn't this fun, guys? It's a bit of bondage. Now you take this strap behind your back and take your right hand, find the strap. Da -da, like a magic trick. So now the strap is behind my back, holding it still on my foot. Yes. Okay, now we twist. So I'm just gonna turn around. So I have my hand here. You can sit on something. I'm gonna start to turn towards the right and I'll use the left hand to just kind of help if maybe I can take the strap a little deeper and twist and then I'm pulling the strap to open the shoulder. Okay, so wherever you need to be, you decide how deep this is. Know that the, you know, the full pose is holding the foot. So you're, you're doing it. Good. One more breath. Good. Okay, slowly release. You can let the strap slide through the right hand. The left hand comes down. Okay, now I'm gonna just, left hand take the strap, right hand come around, right hand take the strap. Lean over to the left. Now I'm gonna come down. And as I come down, you can watch this first. I'm, I'm going to even walk my left leg to find my balance. I take the right knee down. This is a very yoga pose, okay? Now I'm just letting my hands slide as I keep turning. And you know, this could be a lot. So you stop wherever you need. I'm just going to keep going. So I'll just move back. So from here, I'm going to use the foot, push it back. Maybe I take the left hand, find the strap, walk the hands to the strap. I'm gonna push the foot, arch the back, maybe look up, okay? If you have your wall nearby, you can use the wall. It's really about just finding that foot connection. You like that? Okay, you get in it, boy. So breathe here, wherever you are, wherever place you decide to stop, you're doing the work. Okay, so here's the next part. What's next? Okay, and the next part is, to start to bow forward and I take this leg with me. So it's coming a little closer. So if this is, you know, this is deep. I have my hand at the wall just because I saw a lot of you have that. And I'm just coming to a forward fold, wherever this is, the hand can come down. You just feel, okay, that's enough for me. And then you just breathe. 
Good. One more breath. Okay, now to come up, I'm gonna push the foot and I just unwind as if the foot is leading this. Oh, so nice. You release your strap. I don't know if you remember how we got into this, but we were on your backs. So <laughs> turn around, get yourself set up to your wall. Okay, I'm gonna just lower it down. You know, I love to do these little yoga push uh, sit-ups. I call them yoga, you know, I call them going into the, the crypt, but it is a yoga sit-up. So you can come all the way down and maybe right before you touch, oh, do a little bit of these. Maybe your feet come off the floor. Maybe you straighten your legs. Or maybe you're just like, ah, I'm good, I'm down. Okay, lower down, lower down, lower down. Okay, you need a moment. You can take your arms over your head, stretch yourself, feel the two sides of your body. Oh, that was a lot. Yay, so give yourself kudos. You know, what's, what are you embracing right now? What's being offered? Some crazy strap stuff. <laughs> Good for you. Okay, we come back to bent knees. I'm scooching a little bit closer to the wall. You don't need to be close to the wall, as you remember. We need enough room to move. And you're gonna move to the left side this time. So I'm just gonna flip myself around so I'm biz. But make sure you have, you know, free and clear whatever you need. Okay, then we find the left foot. Put the strap on the left foot. And you hold the strap, maybe with both hands for a moment, just settle in to whatever this is. Put your right foot wherever you need it, but it stays bent. Good. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking, it is yoga time. Put your right hand, is gonna hold the strap. The left arm comes out to the side. And we start by splitting the legs. So the left leg drops out to the left and the right knee drops out to the right. And you can feel free to move your right foot. Let the shoulder, you, now you know what's coming. So it's like, you're just getting, you know, to know this connection between the arm, the foot, everything in between. Let the shoulder do what it needs to do. Breathe into whatever your experience is. I'll take one more big breath. I'm using the foot. I'm not letting my leg go to sleep. It's working. Good. And then inhale, bring the leg up, the knee up. Okay. And then we'll keep the right hand holding the strap. This left leg is now gonna cross over to the right and the right knee is dropping into the left. Like you've almost crossed your legs. Like if you looked, you'd probably see them going in opposite directions. Okay, this hip crease wants to hike up, draw it down, and then add that, you know, the foot stuff. Your outer edge needs to draw down, flex your foot, smile into your discomfort, what's being offered to you right now, right here. Breathe into all of it. Good. Okay, bring it back up. And okay, now the left hand takes the strap. The right arm can go out to the side for support. We're gonna drop this left leg out to the left and let the right knee also move to the left. So walk your right foot wherever you need it to be. If you need bolster or some support, find it. And then we just kind of hang out here. So you're just feeling into whatever's happening in the right leg. Use your foot if you need to support your knee, you activate the foot. Okay. Eventually I wanna to get to a place where I can just let the right knee fall to the inside and receive whatever's happening. Don't forget about your left leg though. Don't let it just go to sleep. You know, keep, keep everything <clears throat> engaged, mindfully aware, deeply present. Good. Okay, now feel your right arm. It's gonna circle over your head and all the way so you come to lie on your left side. And we bring ourselves up. So you're just gonna find this, sit up. Okay, and then once you're here, I'm gonna keep that right leg where it is. If you need to, if it's knee stuff, you know, honor what you've got and what you brought. Okay, otherwise I just keep it back. 
I'm gonna bring that foot so it's pointing back. Okay, we can drop the straps. We're just gonna lean back. Once you're in it, you know, you just kind of go, okay, can I lean back a little bit? Maybe onto your, you might even go onto your upper arms here. And okay, so I'm just looking to open this quad a little bit. I didn't say this on the other side, but drawing the belly in and up kind of also adds a little bit here. So see, in and up. Breathe. Good. Okay. And then we'll find our way back up. Good. Okay, once you're up, find the strap into your right hand and the left hand can just, we're gonna to come to the forward fold, but let's start just by sitting. So you can evaluate if everything is good. Do I need something to sit on? Do I need a prop? And, and then when you're ready, I'm gonna actually pull myself forward a little bit. And then you're welcome to drop the strap if that's better for you, or you hold it, or you hold the foot. And just be kind, you know, like, we're not looking to be or to go anywhere. We're just going here. Good. And just feel your breath. And this stretch unfolding. Good. Okay. And one nice big breath, exactly as you are. Release it. And then we'll slowly walk yourself upright. Maybe find your strap on your way. And the strap is gonna come into the left hand. So I'll just take this little extra strap, drop it out. Okay, so you're here again, assess. We're gonna take this little side bend. Did I do it with the opposite hand? I did do it with the opposite hand. Okay, yeah, that's right, sorry, switch hands. <laughs> yeah, okay, and then I'm gonna take my buckle and put it in my hand as well so it doesn't end up on my head. Okay, now we start to take the, yes, Joe. All right, take it up and over and you're opening yourself. You let that strap, if it needs to go up high, that's fine. You know, find whatever you need to be here. You can open yourself. I'm moving the arm back, opening the chest. Be wherever you need to be, arm straight, bent, smile, breathe. Good. One more breath. Good. Okay, keep holding the strap, but bring yourself back and the arm can come in front. We're gonna, um, actually, let's bring this leg in. I'll do this here, we'll just give it a little rest. Yeah, and it put something underneath if you need it. Okay, now we're gonna lift this leg up. So I'm gonna take the leg up. Did I do this? Yes, okay. And then it comes up and over. So, you know, the wall, the floor, if your leg wants to bend, that's fine too. You just kind of be here, wherever this is for you. Breathe. Good, okay. And then we're gonna release. I'm gonna take the arm in front, switch hands right hand to the floor, and we're gonna take this back. So as I take it back, you know, this leg on the floor might wanna open more. I take the knee down. Do you remember this? This is what you love, right? Okay, now we just, you find your place here. I bring the elbow in front, that's the pose, and push the foot, bring yourself more to face front. If this works, you know, you can take the hand to the wall. Maybe the right hand finds the strap too. And I take both hands, I'm just holding the strap, pushing the foot in, breathing, maybe look up. If that's there, you can go wherever you need to here. I mean, have the hand at the wall. Good. Oh, one glorious breath in. Breathe out. And then release, hand to the floor. I take it all, I'm gonna take this leg now. It's coming over, so wherever it goes, here, 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 wherever it is, we come up. Okay, we're gonna go into twists. So however, I, I dropped the knee down. I don't think I did that last time. Whatever works. Right hand holds the strap and it gives it to the left hand behind your back, wherever that is. Yes. Mwah. 
I love you guys. You guys do everything. It's amazing. Okay, now we take into twist, right? So this arm can come down, you turn, and once you're in it, you might be like, oh, I can go deeper. So the hand, right hand might feed the left hand, and then you come back. Okay, now there's another, I didn't say this on the other side. The other thing you could do is push this foot away, and that's going to bring that arm behind you more. I'm looking at heart in full pretzel, and you'd probably be happier sitting on something. Yeah, know. for sure. Okay, that might be for you too. I don't know. Breathe here in your twist. Open the left shoulder. Good. Breathe. Good. Oh, yeah, that's better. <sighs> okay, heart's going to stay here for two more breaths. And whenever you're ready, we'll release. And you'll just take this foot. Can we do something else? We lie down and have it straight out. And then we ground it. Remember we had our chest to the floor. Oh, I forgot that part. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Good. So let's just come back to the, I completely forgot that first part. Okay, I'm going to put the foot on the floor. Take the left leg. Lie down. Drop the left leg out. The right leg drops in. And then we got to come back up to sitting. Right, I forgot this. Okay. And I love this pose. How can I forget it? So you're here with the left leg extended, the right leg behind. Now I take the left hand. Maybe I hold the strap. Maybe I'll hold the foot. Right hand to the floor. And I turn and face the floor. And then you can look. You can be on your forearm. You can come all the way down. Or maybe that right arm, both arms are out and your head is on the floor. Thank you, heart. Takes a bit, oh. right? <laughs> Breathe here. Breathe. Okay. And then I'm just sliding that strap off the foot as I bring myself up. And we'll strap, set the strap aside. Good. Let's just bring the legs back towards the wall. And I'm just going to set the heels on the floor with the feet flexed here. Okay. And then feel free to lean back for a moment. And then just slowly bring yourself up. And you might just come to this, you know, say like it's pretty much downward dog when we're at this 90 degree. Flex your feet a little bit. Be where you need to be. If your legs feel very tight, you'll just lean back. Otherwise, we're going to come forward. So I'm going to take my hands and just, oh, you know, take this little fleshy step out. So you're right on your sit bones. So I have the feet flexed, heels into the floor, and I'll start to walk myself forward. So this could be very intense. You know, you might just go half a millimeter and be like, I'm in it. But maybe you're going to reach the wall and release so wherever you are hands on the floor hands on the wall hands on your feet we're in this forward fold here activate your feet maybe you can press your legs into the floor take two more breaths in your own space in your own place okay and then we'll release good Find your strap. Your legs can rest here. <laughs> Go ahead and take them in. Let's make a nice big loop. And <clears throat> we're going to do that wide-legged um, wide legged strap around, or the strap, wide strap around the leg. So make a nice big loop. And, you know, you can always make it smaller. It's easier to make it smaller than bigger. So a nice, this is a pretty small strap. But make a nice big loop. And then... Um, we're going to probably slip into Shavasana from here. So if you need to suit up, whatever you like, I'm going to bring my bolster in to support the head. If you want to put your socks on and all of that stuff is good. Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm, I'm pretty close to the wall. Head supported. And then we'll just slide this strap over the soles of both feet. And the legs are going to stay. Take one foot and put it in the loop and it looks longer. Oh, no, this is good distance. Oh, but okay. yes, that would work. Too. Strap, that's all. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Oh. Okay. And then just be here. Push your 
you know, feet into the strap, legs are extending out. And we'll start to take this for like, I call it a bus. You know, my first car was a Datsun 510 and the steering wheel was this big. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like driving a bus, I used to joke. So that's why I always feel like this is like driving your bus. So you're just gonna move the legs a little bit, a little bit of hip walking. Good. Nice. And then bring it into center. Bend your knees, reach out, grab your strap. You might grab both sides of the strap or just one. It's up to you. And we're just going to bend the knees, move into this version of happy baby. And feel free to rock forward and back. Normally in happy baby, we rock side to side. Just walk a little, rock a little forward to back and release your low back. And I'm going to slip this strap behind my head into a very deep, so here's where you might just want to hold the bottom part of the strap and put that behind your head. But you know, if you're super open and you have enough space there, you might take both ends of the strap and place it behind your head. And whatever it is, you know, wherever you are, one strap, two straps, be here, let your arms relax, let the head relax. Okay. Use your feet into the strap to almost like massage the head or move the neck. You, even if you push one foot in more than the other and your head will, you know, you'll feel what your head will do. And if your feet, soles of the feet want to come together here too, that's fine. You know, don't have to stay happy baby. So be playfully curious. One more breath. Good, okay. Now take your hands to the strap and release it from behind your head first. So the head comes down. I'm gonna hold the strap and just have the legs straight. Just let the legs drop. Okay, so here you're holding your strap. Take one arm inside the strap. So you're gonna let the strap be at the upper arm. And then I'll take the other one in too. So I have both hands, you know, at the upper arm. Bring your hands together into prayer. Find your feet, breathe here. The arms are just holding the strap, let the shoulders drop. You know, see if you can soften along your back, your glutes. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Okay, so now stay in this shape, but what can you soften? So for me, you know, the thumbs just drop to the forehead. And be in wherever you are here in your bondage, in your strapped up place. Good, one more breath. And then release your hands, find your strap so it's not so jarring, you're not just dropping. You'll bend your knees and place your feet on the floor. Yeah, you can take the strap out, actually. I kept it on, but now I'm gonna take it off. Okay, good. Open your knees, open your feet. We're gonna to go to windshield wiper. So if you are happy with the bolster under your head, you can leave it there. You can take it out, take it out. And just windshield wiper yourself side to side a few times. And Okay, good. And bring it to your center. I'm gonna take this bolster out from behind the head and place it underneath the hips. So lift your hips up, find the bolster there. Good. Okay, and then just set yourself up to just be here with the hips lifted, adjust what you need. This might feel pretty amazing. And whenever you're ready here, I'm going to come back to this windshield wiper. And I love to think of this as, you know, massaging your low back. You might consciously or unconsciously add a little bit of the cat cow in this. So I sometimes feel like I'm circling my hips and my knees. Maybe that's not really what's happening, but with my eyes closed, that's what it feels like. And if you feel you're circling, then just find the reverse action. Otherwise, just stay with the side to side. Good. 
Okay, let's take one more moment here. And, and, oh, I'm getting so many back cracks. I just love that. And then come back to just resting with the feet wherever they are. Okay. Heel toe your feet towards the midline and we'll bring the right knee into your chest. You know where your strap is if you need it. The left leg can straighten out. Now I'm very close to the wall, so I'm just gonna straighten the leg to the wall. Hug the right knee in. Maybe you have to tuck your chin a little bit. Be aware of that. Good. I'll just take a few breaths. Smile. And then switch your legs, switch the interlace of your fingers. And drop in again. Wherever that right foot goes, it could stay on the floor. Fine too. Good. And then we'll stay on the bolster. I'm just gonna stretch both legs straight. Now, because I'm close to the wall, they're gonna end up at the wall. But if your heels end up at the floor, that's great too. So I just actually move myself back. Wherever you are, just drop in. This little arch, a little bit of your you know, spinal release. Okay. okay, and then we're going to move into Shavasana. If there's anything else you need, you're going to offer that to yourself. Otherwise, I'm just going to bend my knees, lift the hips. I'll just slide the bolster down lower so it's resting. You know, the calves are taking it. Okay, if you need eye pillow, blanket, tuck yourself in, make it nice. Oh, I brought socks today too, so I'll throw those on. Okay. You fall in and just feel your self, your own presence. And as you start to drop in, it's a fun thing to just, you know, Shirley McLean it a little bit, like feel like you are observing yourself from a different place. You can see yourself lying on your floor in your room. And you're just unplugged for this moment. Listening to the sound of your breath feeling into the energies of your body. And for this Shavasana and this time, you're just bringing yourself deeper to your center and to your home and where you really live in this body.
Just feeling into wherever you can still melt and release. And the more you drop in, and the more space we make to tune into the flow of your breath. Free or for restriction, nourishing yourself. So, taking a nice big breath in, maybe you hold it at the top for a moment or two, and then release it completely. And staying in your rest for as long as you like. And if you're ready to start to journey, just let that be very slow through the fingers, the toes, your ankles, your wrists. And moving into full body stretch whenever you're ready. And before we roll to our side, let's just bring the knees into the chest in whatever way it feels good. It's rocking side to side or front to back. It's nourishing. And whenever you're ready, friends, and let's roll over onto your side and Take a few moments there. And just coming up to seated whenever you feel ready, take your time. And once you get up, just take a few moments again in your stillness to just feel what you've done, what you've changed, what's shifted, and what's called you home aware of your whole body, bringing your hands together at your heart, with reverence and devotion. And as you inhale, grow tall and exhale this breath. And we'll join together in our may we be blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. <laughs> and we'll seal that with one own inhale. Oh. your chin, om shanti, om peace. Take a full breath in. Just breathe into your hands. Lift your breath. Lift your chin. Open your eyes. Off the lids. And offer it out. Yes. Thank you, friends. Thank you for playing and exploring all that good stuff. Happy Easter blessings. And if you're here on Sunday, see you on Sunday. And so much love. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Love you all. See you soon.